So I don't have very many places left to go on Brittle Hollow or on the Hourglass Twins. But don't worry, I've still technically got all of Giant's Deep left. Although landing on there is going to be a nightmare. I mean, the one thing Brittle Hollow and Dub and the Hourglass Twins really have is that they don't have atmospheres. How am I supposed to see where I'm supposed to land through all those clouds? Well, let's talk about the interloper for a while. I found the two missing numbers of the Nomai shuttle near a large ruptured stone that looks like it exploded from the inside. Don't know what set it off, but you get the point. The Nomai traced the strange energy readings to a spherical stone casing filled with some form of exotic matter. They determined the exotic matter was both lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone were to rupture, the exotic matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the solar system almost instantaneously. One of the Nomai stayed behind to examine the alien matter, while the other rushed back to the surface to warn the rest of the Nomai. And if I remember correctly, I don't think either of them made it. I'm going to explain a few things. Like, um, all those Nomai skeletons. Looks like they all died suddenly. Very suddenly. And yet, it doesn't explain the cannon, the one that they keep shooting off every... Um every time I wake up. Now somebody must have been around how to trip that thing. And if so, where are they? Speaking of stuff I can't find, where's Brittle Hollow? Ah, there it is. Yeah, there's a couple of places I gotta get to on there. Um, one of them, and one of them is not easy to uh, reach. I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with. Hold on a second. I have to. I was going to say I have to avoid crashing. I didn't destroy the whole ship. I think there's something else going on. At least in real life with my computer, so... I don't know whether you noticed this, but... Uh, but the whole thing locked up. Alright, where's the... Um... Tower of Quantum... Do I literally not know what that what that thing is? I, I know where it is. Okay, well that was pointless. It's not like I have all the time in the world. But I do have an idea of where... of where it is. And, I, and if I can get... There we go. Yeah, I'm guessing it's some it's away from that one escape pod. Now I could get to the core of the planet, uh well not the core of the planet, but um to the inside of it using using the escape the old city but that place is you know almost impossible to navigate ah here we go here we go okay so I want to go down here I tried this trick once and failed. The problem really is that um, there's two directions I can go. Well, once I'm shot out of this out of that malfunctioning lift, 
I need to sort of angle myself correctly. Now, which one of these is it? Ah, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I can see it off in the distance. I gotta go left. At least I think I gotta go left. Because there's these gravity things that are, that are left. Well, whatever. I gotta concentrate and make sure that I stick the landing this time. Again, I'm Wait a second. All right, let's get back to Back to the drawing board again. Okay. Go again. Oh. Okay, so this time I just bounced right off of it. Just get back in here. Okay, well, this time all I got to do is that. is that Oh well never mind Yeah we are running out of crust right now to sit here and wait for the uh, Tower of Quantum Knowledge to come to me. This is the white hole. Where is this? I think it's just part of the old city. Power of quantum knowledge might come through this place any second now. What if 
this is it. Holy smoke, I think it is. So all I really have to do is float my way into it. Just like that. Hold it. Okay, so I think we saw this place. Problem is I don't really have one of those, what do you call them, stones, projection stones or whatever they are. And yet, what about over here? Ah, trees. What is this place exactly? It looks like a map room of some kind. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you just as it carried me and many on our clan before me to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the Quantum Moon. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the Moon's north pole. Huh. I didn't notice anything. Be curious on your journey. We got something out of that. Problem is, I don't. I wonder if there's. Is there anything else around here? Oh, this thing must be tracking the quantum moon, too. Yes, I think I understand. Oh, no. No, I don't want to have to go to this place again, but I think I just found a reason to. do is pick that thing up. You see that there's a scroll and it's embedded here. And if I could just stop myself. There we go. Oh boy, am I fighting a losing battle here. Where's that board? It's over here. Velocity. Okay, let's make with the translations. If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, you are almost prepared to settle on this deepest city of journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not for ourselves, but also to the members of our calling. They came before us after the crash that brought them to the star system of the birth. And you found it on Brutal Hollow and with no communication. Uh, between those groups of survivors. Oh, come on. That's a stupid excuse I've ever heard. There's no man looked over from, from two different planets and saw the same wandering uh, moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the quantum moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardships. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became a clan called the How did make the journey? I, I can't keep reading this. When you research the...
One last thing to say. So what did I pick up here? Let's go to the ship's log. That after all that I was able to get into the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay, so let's start talking. I can mark this, that's good. The Nome I built a shrine on the Quantum Moon to aid in the, in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember this final rule, to explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. The pilgrimage to the quantum moon was a deeply significant journey for the, for the Nomai. After the two groups of Nomai stranded on Ember Twin and Brittle Hollow were reunited, it became their united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. Speaking of... The Nomai built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid in the, in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Many Nomai went on a pilgrimage during which the Quantum Moon carried it to its sixth and most secret location. To explore the sixth location, the Shrine of the Quantum Moon must be on the Moon's North Pole. In other words, should I ever actually get to this Moon, I will land on the South Pole, because that's the only place you can land, apparently. And... Trek from there to the North Pole. But if there's one important thing that I've learned, it's how to, it, it's uh, where the Tower of Quantum Knowledge is on Brittle Hollow. After all, that's the only real means I have of getting to um, the Southern Shrine, which I still can't seem to get to. I've tried smacking into that one pillar, but you can't do that. You have to instead um, you have to direct yourself one way or the other. Otherwise you'll end up of going between the pillars again, I think. So that's the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, right there. If there's one thing I gotta practice, it's matching the velocity, because if I do that... I'm again thinking of Giant's Deep. Now there, I don't think there are very many places to land on it. Because a lot of it's water. And I'd have to find a piece of land to touch down on. And in order to do that, I'd have to match the velocity in landing mode, which I guess I can do. I would figure the stairs would be all the way on the other side. I suppose it also figures that I have to wait f until well, um, until almost the end to explore the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Good grief, that was close. Okay, so as far as doing this is concerned, there's really no such thing as a soft landing, is there? Yeah, it's this way. I will have to aim for one of those pillars, but again, I don't really know how.
Okay, how that happened, I have no idea. But, regardless... I still have to get back to that tower. Okay, back we go. <laughs> Pretty sure I hit shift, by the way, to, to launch myself, so... I have no idea why that didn't register. Maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe if I kept my fuel until How do you like that? I passed it. Wait a second, if I were to down. I actually landed on this thing for once. So now all I gotta do is figure out where to go from here. Is there even a place to go from here anymore? Well, I made it down anyway. Unless... No. Okay, I think part of this path might have been destroyed. Wait a second. Really? Okay, so the reason I'm doing this is because the Tower of Quantum Knowledge just fell into the black hole. And as you can see, it is here now. I can't use my flashlight. So all I gotta do is get under the piece of ground and pick up reading where I left off. Okay, so there's a scroll here. And an empty board here.
So, if you're here to make your first pilgrim to the quantum moon, you're almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after they crashed, that brought the, him to the star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and Ember Twin with no communication between those groups of survivors. These Nomai looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the quantum moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many Nomai who had dreamed of seeing the quantum moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these Nomai and carry their curiosity onward with you. So that was the last thing it said. And as you can see here, this, I'm pretty sure, tracks the quantum moon, determining which planet it's orbiting around. However, let's see, we've got Giant's Deep, Brittle Hollow, the, I think that's Terra Hearth, the Twins, Dark Bramble, and this. Maybe this is the sixth location. But if that is the sixth location, does that mean that the quantum moon's last spot, uh, last stop, I should say, is the eye of the universe itself? The very place which, which the Nomai have been trying to get and failing to get to I mean, you can't actually track it. It's been tried before. With no success at all. In fact, it leads me to believe, based on how... how, uh, how we can't pinpoint a location, that we are actually in the eye of the universe. that the other universe is somehow the star system. And yet, the fact that it that the Six Moon actually goes there contradicts that entirely. Does that mean that the eye of the universe is a is a place which simply can't be tracked anywhere? Well that does imply that it's an actual location, a physical place in uh, possibly outside the solar system, or possibly inside the dark bramble. I mean, that place was bigger inside than out. Maybe that's the eye of the universe. Maybe the dark bramble is a means of getting there. I mean, you saw how hard it was for me to get, to get there. It's like a white hole. It kept pushing me out. I mean, I could launch a probe in that one seed, so I don't know. Eventually, I'd get round to that. Uh, but for now, I guess all I got is the uh, Southern Observatory to get to. Well, I'm going to keep trying for that, and well, when I get there, I'll let you know. And this takes a while to reach here. You can see all the plants going. <laughs> 